Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. In today's video, I will show you how to extract data from offset-based paginated APIs directly in Power BI without utilizing any additional tools or scripts, just Power Query and AMP language. First, I will dive in briefly into how offset-based APIs look like, and then do a walkthrough on how to set it up, as well as show you the issues that might arise throughout and how I solved it. Let's dive right in. Let's have a look at how offset-based APIs look like. It's a bit different based from offset-based or page-based APIs that we worked with before. So here again, I have some API I found on the internet, which has test data with some random quotes. And let's query the first page. What we see here is a list of uh, quotes. And if we scroll down, you will see there are three parameters. It's total, total amount of quotes in, the, in this method of the API, skip zero because it's the first page and we start from zero, and then limit 30. It means how many quotes can it give maximum per one API call. And what we'll need to do is to basically do an offset by using skip parameter. Let me turn it on and try. So I'm adding skip at the end of the API call and I'm skipping first 30 records. And if I call the API, what we'll see is now I'm getting quotes starting from 31 and following. And we will need to calculate how many of those pages or how many of those iterations of 30 quotes per page we'll need to iterate through, go through all of them and return the result. And this is our maximum limit of how many uh, quotes can we get per one API response? Let's move on to Power BI and see how it works. And it seems there is sun outside, so you see this, all of this. Okay, Power BI. Once again, what I like to do is to put API. Uh, URL into its own parameter and then work with it in case it needs to change for some reason. Let's move on to M code and review how I did it. So first, what I do is I get that URL and I send initial uh, query. I need that initial query to get all of those parameters that we will be working with. Here, I'm extracting total amount of records. And then we already know the batch size. It's 30. Here, as you can see, it's hard coded. This is for a reason, and I will come back to that later. There are some issues related to that that I will show you a workaround for. But let's move on for now and come back to that later. So next thing that we need to do is calculate the number of calls that we'll need to make to API to iterate through all of the records. So we know already how many quotes or records there is, right? And we know the batch size, how many records per API response it gives us, 30. Therefore, we're dividing total by the batch size. And then, since by dividing you might get number with decimal point, you need to make sure that you're rounding up to make sure that you are for sure querying the last results and not losing them. So make sure to round up the number. Next thing what I do here is I generate the list of offsets that we will be using for that skip parameter. <clears throat> Starting from zero, um, and basically adding 30 until I reach the number 
of calls. Basically, 0, 30, 90, 120, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, until I exhaust the number of calls. Now let's move on to fetch page, uh, which takes the function that takes offset as a parameter. What it does, it queries the API and uses that skip parameter that I showed you in Postman to skip to next offset of quotes and gets the data from the response and stores it away for later use. What happens here is that, again, I generate a list of all the offsets and for all the offsets, I call that function. So basically iterate as many times as needed. And once it does, it combines all of the data together here, which is later transformed into table and output as a table. Now let me close this and we'll still come back to batch size, don't worry. So this is what we get as the result. Again, what I like to do is to make a reference to that table and do all of the transformations separately in case I will be changing something to the way I work with the API. And um, yes, this is what we get. And let me switch to offset based. This is what we get as the end result. All of our quotes, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of records. Now, let's come back to the issue with batch size. Let's say we want to query dynamically to make sure that in case API changes, it won't affect the way data is processed in Power BI. And let me change it to initial response and I believe it was called limit. And let's see what happens when I do that. Let's wait a bit, let's give it a second. And that's what happens. Basically, it's a security issue, meaning that I am attempting to extra uh, do multiple extractions from one API call, which is in Power BI eyes is a security violation. I should not share data between multiple um, queries or data sources, as it says here. There are a few ways to solve it. So, for example, I can go to options. I can let it open. I can go to options, go to privacy and and set privacy level to ignore the privacy levels and potentially improve performance. And that will solve the issue. Let's wait a bit. Let's refresh preview. It did solve the issue, but what we're sacrificing in this case is a security, which might be okay for your personal project, but might not be okay for some corporate environment or corporate project where security and safety is important. Therefore, let's find some other way to do that. Let me switch it back. And let me refresh again. And we are having this issue again. Let me go back to the M code. The way you can solve it is, let's think, what's the issue in the first place? 
we're trying to to use one data source for multiple uh, extractions or for multiple steps, right? What if we do another API call to, to extract the data? Will that help? And for the sake of example, I'll just name it two and I will change it here to two as well. Let's try this. Let's wait a second. As you can see, it actually helped solving the issue. The difference is, is that now we have two initial um, calls to the API, which I guess in this case is just one more API call, which shouldn't affect the performance uh, or load on the API much. So it should be fine. So this is the workaround that I'm using in this case, if I want limit to stay, not to be hard coded and stay flexible in case API changes. This is the better workaround that sac than sacrificing the security. That's all for today. Make sure to check out other videos about Power BI on my channel. Subscribe and see you next week.